Saint Dominic was born in Spain in 1170. His parents were members of the Spanish nobility and related to the ruling family. His father was Felix Guzman, the royal warden of the village, and his mother was the blessed Joan of Aza. According to legend, there were many signs of the great child his mother would bear. During her pilgrimage to an abbey at Silos, Joan had a dream of a dog leaping forth from her womb with a torch in its mouth. In her words, the animal seemed to set the earth on fire. Dominic was educated in Palencia, and he concentrated on theology and the arts. In 1194, Dominic joined a Benedictine order, the canons regular in Osma. He became the superior, or prior of the chapter, in 1201. In 1203, he joined Bishop Diego de Acebo on a trip to Denmark. His mission was to help find a bride for Crown Prince Ferdinand. However, the princess died before she could depart, leaving Dominic and Diego free to travel. They then traveled to Rome, where Pope Innocent III asked them to go to southern France to convert heretics back to the true faith. When the strict Dominic would debate heretics, they often could not defend themselves. Many began to threaten Dominic with violence. Despite the threats, Dominic continued to preach, and he converted many back to the Catholic faith. Recognizing the need for a physical institution of the church in southern France, Dominic established a convent at Puy in 1206. This became the first Dominican house. The monastery remains to this day as the Notre Dame de Puy Monastery. According to legend, St. Dominic received the rosary during a period of prayer at the Abbey in Puy. This allegedly took place in 1214 during an apparition of the Virgin Mary. The Marian rosary became extremely popular following this event. Dominic became famous as a result of his mercy and his work, leading other prominent religious figures to petition to make him a bishop. But Dominic refused. In July 1215, Dominic was granted permission to form his own religious order to promote morality and the expulsion of heresy. The group followed a rule of life which included a strict routine of discipline, including prayer and penance. His order was confirmed on December 22, 1216, and in 1217, Pope Honorarius III dubbed Dominic and his followers the Order of Preachers. In 1218, Pope Honorarius III elevated Dominic to the rank of Master of the Sacred Palace, a position occupied by Dominican preachers to this day since Dominic himself. After working hard to bring several orders of nuns to Rome to restore their discipline, the Pope rewarded Dominic with a new church for his order, the Basilica of Santa Sabina, which remains the headquarters of the Dominican order to this day. Following his successes, Dominic began a period of travel that would continue for the rest of his life. In July 1221, Dominic became ill with a fever. He asked his brothers to keep a spirit of humility and charity. After several weeks of illness, he made his last confession and a will, then passed away at the age of 51. Dominic's body was placed in a humble sarcophagus in 1223 and moved to a shrine in 1267. Pope Gregory IX canonized St. Dominic on July 13, 1234, and his feast day is August 8. St. Dominic is the patron saint of astronomers, the Dominican Republic, and of the innocent who are falsely accused of crimes. He is often depicted with a dog or lilies and holding a book. To learn more about St. Dominic, visit catholic.org. And if St. Dominic inspires you or someone you know, shop for his items by clicking on the catholicshopping.com link below for a one-of-a-kind shopping experience.